Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video and today is decluttering day. So I've been wanting to do a video of my entire bag collection, but it, I had a hard time corralling all of my bags from Nashville and Chicago. And I think I dragged most of them down. I might've missed one or two, but putting them in front of me and all of the bags that I do have, I'm just like, I really need to get rid of some of these because there are pieces that are sentimental value that I don't like want to let go of, but then there's ones that I've added to my collection and I probably shouldn't have. So this is a evolving journey that we all go through and still am going through. I've gotten better with figuring out what kind of bags I do like and what kind of bags I do not like, but I'm still making mistakes apparently. So let's just kind of go over what bags I'm letting go. Some of them may have gone to a new home already. And if there's anything you are interested in, um, I'm open to having a conversation. But if, again, some of these might have been sold already, but I'll let you know. Let's kind of just get right into it. So I was trying to start this video. Q decided that she really wants to sit next to me for whatever reason. She's not like the super cuddly type. First of all, she tried to knock over my camera stand. But then two, she decided to sit on the actual camera stand. So I start wobbling around. So this is like my third time filming it. Then I realized she actually wants to sit next to me. So in any case, bag number one is my Hermes trim bag. I was heavily influenced to get this bag and I thought that the history of this bag was so unique. Not so unique, but right. Most people are gonna see this bag, this Hermes trim bag, and this is in the 31, I believe. They're gonna be like, oh, it's the Jackie Gucci Jackie, right? But again, I'd love to parade this information around because I think I know a lot, but really the Jackie came out in 1963 and the Hermes trim bag actually came out in like 1958. Can you not sit on me and get hair everywhere? Don't worry, I keep all of these in dust bags. So I thought it was having a piece of history and this bag is over 30 years old. And my friend, when she sees this bag, she's like, ah, this, this bag aged better than my skin did. It was just a running joke. We, we have a lot of corny running jokes here. But um, yes, this bag is over three decades old, old and look how gorgeous it is, right? It comes with like the gold hardware that's not faded. So this, this piece is in really good condition. There's no corner wear or anything and it's in gold hardware, right? So I still appreciate the history, but I feel like this particular um, handle, uh, it's too short. I like something a little bit longer. And of course I love my crossbodies, and this is just something that I'm struggling with because it doesn't really work well with my winter clothes. And I feel like this is a very wintery bag or fall bag, so to speak. So that's why I think I got swept up by Instagram, YouTube, and I decided I needed this bag. No, I didn't. I didn't need this bag. So I'm going to be letting this bag go. The second bag that I've decided to let go, and this may come to you as a surprise and may not. This is an indie bag brand that I was obsessing over for you know at least half a year before i decided to make the plunge this is the advin age bag love the color love the quality of it the smell is amazing but to me this is a very one dimensional bag it does come with a long shoulder strap that you can crossbody but this bag is it's not designed to do a crossbody and if a bag is designed to be a crossbody as well as a top handle or shoulder bag I want it to be fully functional and for it to actually do that. When I wore it crossbody that one time for like an hour going to the mall, it was like the most annoying thing ever. Uh, I basically hit everything, knocked things around because this thing just stuck out like a tumor. As you've said, heard me say this before many times about bags, this one <laughs> takes it to the next level. So it is not a crossbody bag. The only way I feel like this bag that you can wear it is this way on the crook of your arm. That is it. And it's adorable. The leather smell is amazing. The quality is amazing. I feel like this just doesn't work for my lifestyle. Hence, this one is um, going to be uh, on the market, so to speak. It has not sold yet. 
but this one is going to be on the market and hopefully someone else who really appreciate this bag can give it a new home and give it a second life. This is basically brand new. I think I want to I want to say I used it once or twice. Comes with the dust bag tags and everything. So if you are interested, let me know. The third bag I'm going to be letting go is my Celine Trator bag. This is the one in the medium size. And my favorite part of this is that it actually comes with a back pocket. And the back pocket is going to be um, big enough for you to fit a phone and it comes with a zipper. And if you've seen my previous video talking about why I let bags go, that one was just way too small. It didn't fit anything. This one fits a lot and I love the Celine from Phoebe Philo days where this bag is not heavy. This is also um, calf skin lined or just smooth skin lined. So it's a very high quality bag. The reason why I'm letting this go is not, there's not anything wrong with this bag or anything, but this, I bought another one. <laughs> I actually found another one in a gorgeous blue color. And I obviously I don't need two of them. For me, I feel like I have so many neutral bags that I really love the functionality of this bag that I decided I wanted to keep the blue one and not have two of the same color bags. You know, that's not something I like to do. Not the kind of person where I love one model, kind of like guys, right? Guys find a really good pair of pants that they really like or a nice t-shirt that they like and they decide to buy one in every color or two of every color and they rotate around there. I cannot do that with bags. That is one, expensive. Two, that's just not me. If I have, you know, one particular model, that's it. That is only the, old. there's too many options out there that you don't need to have, in my opinion, obviously do whatever you want. You don't need to have the same model or the same model in three different sizes. Okay, bye. Now you're stuck. My pillow can come back here. Q decided to leave. To have every single, what was I saying? Basically, I don't need multiple bags of the same model. Let's do a Chanel. I love this bag. I really do. And I spent forever finding this bag too. I'm gonna be letting this one go, unfortunately. This is the Chanel square flap in the 24 karat gold with a shoulder strap. This is a gorgeous bag. I love this bag. Why am I letting it go? Because it's too heavy. This bag is way too heavy for my needs. And I love how there's a back pocket. I'm kind of on the fence here, but I think I'm going to let this go. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. You're watching, <laughs> you're, you're watching me on the camera having an internal debate about this bag. Normally, when you see this particular bag, you would actually be seeing a lot of black ones, a lot of the, a lot of the smooth skin leather as opposed to the caviar. So this is actually a very unique bag and very rare, so to speak, in my, at least I think so. But I just find this very inconvenient to use for whatever reason. All right, the next bag is going to be the Celine case flat bag. I know I said this could be a forever bag, but it's not. Nothing's forever, just like, you know, our time on Earth, apparently. Um, I actually really like this bag, but I don't reach for it. I don't know why. I'm just like having a mind melt right now, trying to think why I don't reach for it. I don't, maybe it's the smooth skin leather. I don't have a problem with red. Obviously, I do love my red bags. And this is a very functional bag. It comes with a dust bag and all of it. And it's an accordion style. And of course, let's not forget, this is in Python. So I'm not sure why. I mean, again, I love this bag, but I like looking at it, but I don't like looking at it enough for it to sit on my shelf to keep looking at it and just have money sit there. Every single bag that I have, I want to use. So if there are a particular reason why I'm not reaching for this, then it shouldn't be here. There's kind of no real justification for this particular bag and why I don't reach for it. So hence, I think if it doesn't give you that spark or that joy and me reaching for it all the time, then it's time for it to go to a new home. But isn't this pretty? It's such a gorgeous bag. It's a very functional bag. So yeah, I don't know. Right, the next one, you may or may not be surprised, but 
I'm gonna be letting go of this Louis Vuitton bag. This is my Louis Vuitton Damia favorite bag in an MM size. I bought this when I was visiting Portugal and I wanna say I might've taken it out for a couple hours twice. I know this is a controversial opinion, but I really do not like the Damier Eben. This is the only one I've ever owned and I'm just not a fan. I don't know. That whole checker thing is not really my vibe. I don't know why I bought this one. I guess it was just like, hey, I'm in Portugal and I visited the Louis Vuitton store and I, this is, I guess this is the one I decided to buy. I don't know. I can't even remember. This was like, I want to say at least five years, five or six years ago that I purchased this one. They no longer make this. And this is in basically pretty much brand new condition, full set. And uh, hopefully it goes to new home that I don't ever reach for it. And it's really no fault of this own bag, right? The, the canvas is great. Honestly, I shouldn't really like this bag based on all of the requirements that it comes with. You know, it's got a little chain strap. It's got a crossbody strap. You can use it like a shoulder. You can use it as a crossbody. Like this should fit all of the boxes or check all the boxes for everything I'm looking in a bag. It's still got its sticker on there. And this is a great travel option, right? Because it folds flat really easily and you won't have to, you know, worry about it getting it damaged or anything like that. But I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just meh. All right, the next bag I am going to be letting go of is my Dior tote bag. I was gonna give this to my mom. She's like, I don't need any more bags. And originally I actually bought this one as well as the other one to uh, give as gifts, but I don't think I'm gonna be using this bag. I have enough tote bags and you know, I don't really care for all back bags, especially with silver hardware. So this was actually a really fun project for me to work on the straps. Um, were cracked when I purchased this and I learned a lot using this bag and was able to repair the handles on this and it looks pretty much in really really good condition so not much to say about this my mom didn't want it I don't really need another tote bag so I'm going to be selling this one so I've got two more bags to cover and before we wrap everything up I hope you are enjoying and seeing like my crazy thought process of going through the different bags and what to let go of. We're all on this crazy journey of going through different bags that we purchased and regret then or certain bags that you bought and you never want to let go of. It's like a revolving door sometimes, but you also keep a lot of the gems that you've had for 10 years, 15 years. And hopefully if you have kids or whatever, you can always pass it down to them. I personally don't have kids, but it's a hobby of mine, right? Being able to go on a channel or just be on video and just talk through your thoughts. As I'm watching other YouTubers, I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Or no, I don't agree. It's just fun to have a hobby and conversation and be able to talk with like-minded people. So I hope you will subscribe and like this video for me. I've got entire playlists that you can kind of rip through if you want to. Um, just going through all of the different bags, hear my thoughts on it. Of course, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts on specific bags and specific unpopular opinions. I know a couple of my more viewed uh, videos have been quote unquote controversial. So I hope you'll be back, but let's move on to the last two bags. So here's another black bag. Again, I got this for my mom. She was like, mm, no, no, not interested. So yeah, I actually, this is the second time I purchased this. The first time I purchased this, it was the pink version and I just kind of got over it and it was pink. So uh, for, this, for this particular one, I think this one's a lot more low key. So I think this one has a lot more staying power. And by the way, this is the Mama Zuka baguette bag. So my friend was eyeballing this bag so maybe she wants to purchase it i don't know and there's nothing wrong with this bag this is a really nice bag for you to travel with you can flatten it out so i just don't need another black bag in my life so hence this is why i'm letting go from my collection all right so the last bag i have here is the lady dior i use this bag a couple of times and if you haven't seen my original video and my dilemma I'm still in that kind of phase. So this one and the Chanel 
are the two bags I'm kind of like, if it doesn't sell, cool. If it does sell, cool. Like I'm not gonna be upset either way. But this is such a gorgeous bag and it's a very loud bag, you hear this? And every time I wear this bag, I get, I get a couple head turns. <laughs> so if you want something that is very elegant or if you wanna dress up casually, I feel like this is a really good one. My biggest gripe with this bag is just the opening. I've actually gotten used to it, but do I really need to get used to something I don't like, right? Like the opening is really hard for you to stick your in hand in there. If you wanna put stuff in there, you have no idea what you go in there. You gotta go stirring the pot, so to speak. It's unique, but it's also not like, you know, your typical blacks and some crazy colors that you see on Fashion File or whatever. But I feel like this, this color is, has a lot of staying power and it doesn't feel dated. Where some of the ones that you see, like the red ones or the pink ones, can feel a little dated. I think this particular color is is a really good one to have in your collection. So again, I'm still on the fence in the maybe category. Out of all of the these bags, these are the only two that I'm just like, mm, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I really hope you enjoy that video. I went over nine bags that I've decided I could part ways with tomorrow if I if I can sell them <laughs> so like and subscribe if you haven't done so already come back for more I will be doing an entire bag collection video I'll probably split it up into two just because I have too many um one indie bag brand and then one luxury like the big luxury bag brands and then kind of just go over what I have and then maybe along the way I might declutter some more I don't know Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and hopefully less than retail. I'll see you all next time.